Now we're going to combine the two. So we're going to combine the luminance frame with the RGB to make it the complete LRGB image. So if we go to processes, where are you? LRGB combination. We don't want to tick these because we already have the RGB. So we just want the luminance file selected. We're going to run some chromance noise reduction now and then do some further later. But this will just uh, reduce the noise in this image once the luminance is applied. So now that's all set up. We'll just apply it and it will combine the image then do the noise reduction and will deliver us a final image. Normally takes about a minute. Coming up now to really you could call it a complete image. Um, it will look quite respectable. Um, the things I'm going to do from here on out will be um, some further noise reduction, enhancing of some of the details, bring out some dark structures. Um, I'm going to do some more curves, adjustments, levels, and I will probably do some color saturation as well in specific channels just to try and bring out some more of the sort of the reds and the blue. So when this is almost done. Okay. So we can now close our luminance file. We can close the combination. We now have an LRGB image of Andromeda. Now going to run some further noise reduction. Um, process ACDNR. We're applying it to the lightness mask in both the lightness and the chrominance. I'm leaving everything as standard, not changing anything because it works quite well. I'm just going to apply this to the whole image. It will separate into channels and apply noise reductions to the channels, then reassemble. The only downside to this is um, when you zoom in really close, it can make it look slightly blurry. But with an image, because this is a wide field image, I mean, it is quite zoomable. You can actually see quite a lot of detail when you zoom in close. But uh, yeah, we can create um, correct some of that um, with some wavelet transform, which we'll do afterwards. So if we just look at what that actually did. We scroll in. Now if we undo it, you can see the grain, the noise, reapply it, Oops. and it disappears. So that's about it for noise reduction now. Um, okay, so we can put that there. Now I'm just going to check the histogram. Sure we've still got room at the front but we're not going to change this just yet. Okay, you know what I want to do now uh, is actually the wavelet transform. This is to bring some of the detail or to make it uh, less <laughs> less fuzzy a bit more defined if you know it <laughs> yeah well you'll see what I mean so I've actually already run this before so it's actually still got my settings in here I'm only doing it in the first three layers I'm gonna run this actually and then I'm gonna create a preview We're going to run this on a, just on the preview, just to see what it does. Okay, 
Do you see? No, if we undo the preview. No, sorry, wrong one, that one. So that's what it was. That's what it is. It tightens things up a bit. I think it's slightly too much. In fact, I might just get rid of oops, the third channel altogether. We'll undo it. We'll reapply it to the preview. Okay, that's better. Yes, that's definitely better. So if we undo, redo, you see it just tightens up some of the detail. This is where experimenting comes in. I'm just going to try and pump that up a bit more, see if we can get away with some more on the first layer. Actually, I think we can. Okay. So we're going to go with that. So I'll delete the preview. And now I'm going to apply this to the whole image. Like so. So if we look in at some of the lines, if we undo it. A bit more blurry. Reapply it. Just makes things a bit crisper. Right, so that's that. We can just double check the histogram again. Still looks okay. We've got some room in here anyway to to do this, and we've also got curves adjustments to do. But we're going to come back to that. And what we're going to do here now is I'm going to use a script, which is someone has obviously made and uh, they are very good where is it uh, dark structure enhance it will pick out the dust lanes and the dark detail and make it slightly darker so it's more visible which is nice so we'll just apply it let it run I mean, like I said before, this is all stuff that uh, I choose to do. You don't have to. Um, sometimes doing too much is definitely overkill because you can start to make an image look very synthetic. Um, I'm trying not to do that with this, but it's quite hard with Andromeda because you just always want that little bit extra out of it. And before you know it, it can just look fake. So. Let's hope this doesn't do too much to it. If it does, we can re undo it and go back in and just do a less amount to try and get what we want. Okay, so that was done. Let's see, it's actually just put out some of the detail. If we undo it, you can see the changes in the lanes. So it just brings them out slightly which is what I like to see. Okay.